Welcome to an explanation of the Community Disaster Resilience Tools, known as the CDRT Usefulness for Specific User Needs. The CDRT is a free, online, publicly accessible map-based resource that communicates the nuanced risks communities face due to overlapping vulnerabilities, histories, and exposures to hazards. This video will be organized into three sections based upon user type. Part 1 for non-emergency response or healthcare emergency managers, Part 2 for local, state, and federal emergency managers, and Part 3 for research and academia. Video timestamps can be used to quickly navigate to a specific part. Please reference our How to CDRT video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this tool and how to understand its data. The CDRT was built to support all phases of emergency management by identifying the most significant hazard and health issues faced by a patient population and combining multiple variables to pinpoint vulnerabilities. Resilience efforts can be better informed to best prepare for future events through the multiple factors gathered within the CDRT. The CDRT is composed of four tabs that each highlight specific information by county that can be used to guide scholarly conversations. Part 1. The CDRT can be used to assist non-emergency response or healthcare emergency managers in gaining familiarity with the risks faced by specific communities. First, we suggest utilizing the Natural Hazards tab to gain awareness of the specific natural hazards, either floods, seismic activity, or wildfires, faced by your county of interest. Second, review community statistics in the Population Information tab to understand how age, economic, and racial demographic factors are split within the communities of interest. Next, visit the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab to gain a more complete picture of the health risks present within the community and how these intersect with natural hazard likelihood. Finally, review the Healthcare Infrastructure tab for specified information on present healthcare systems, including pharmacies, hospitals, and federally qualified health centers. This order of tool usage will provide you with a growing understanding of specific community struggles to best plan for disaster response. As an example, we will analyze Los Angeles County, starting with the Natural Hazards tab. Navigate to the search icon at the top left of the map and search for Los Angeles County. Use the drop-down box in the top left to switch between each natural hazard. After selecting the desired drop-down menu item, the preferred county will enlarge. Note that switching to a different natural hazard will unselect the previously selected county. When hovering over a specific county, a pop-up box will populate with more detailed information. This indicates, for instance, how 96.61% of Los Angeles County has a high likelihood of short-term seismic activity, and 39% of the county is at risk for high wildfire potential. Secondly, review the Population Information tab using the same search steps from the Natural Hazards tab. As identified by the pop-up information while hovering over the county, 15.84% of Los Angeles is in poverty, and 14.08% are above 65 years old. This is denoted in the table on the right, compared with statewide data where 13.89% of the state is in poverty and 13.78% are above 65 years old. In LA County, there exists a higher elderly and impoverished population. These populations, as well as the most likely natural hazard being wildfire, should be accounted for when planning for a disaster. Next, visit the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab. Hovering over the pop-up displays the ratio of the county prevalence of 21 unique conditions against the national average. A ratio value greater than 1.00 is necessary for the chronic condition to appear in the pop-up and indicates a higher prevalence for the condition within that county compared to the national average. Thus, the higher the value, the greater the prevalence. For example, Los Angeles County has a higher presence of diabetes and Alzheimer's than the national average. This information can assist the user in response planning, focusing on understanding health concerns of the population. Finally, the Healthcare Infrastructure tab can be used to acknowledge current gaps in care availability. This tab identifies, for example, that there are 17.6 pharmacies and 1.3 hospitals per 100,000 people in LA County. This can be compared to neighboring Kings County, where there are 13.1 pharmacies and 2.6 hospitals per 100,000 people in this county. This indicates that Los Angeles County could experience more strained healthcare capabilities during a disaster response than nearby communities, and leaders may want to prioritize this county because of this. 
The CDRT provides relevant information to assist during all phases of emergency management by identifying the largest hazard and health issues faced by a patient population and incorporating multiple sources of data to pinpoint vulnerabilities. Resilience efforts can be better informed to best prepare for future events through the multiple factors gathered within the CDRT. It is evident that community leaders will need to plan accordingly to address the vulnerabilities that exist within this county that is under high threats of short-term seismic activity, impoverished, high specific chronic disease rates, and low healthcare resilience capabilities. Part 2. The CDRT can be used to assist local, state, and federal emergency managers in gaining familiarity with the risks faced by specific communities. To optimize this tool for your specific needs, it is recommended to utilize this resource in the following order. First, the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab can create a complete picture of the health risks present within a community and how these risks intersect with potential natural hazards. Secondly, visit the Natural Hazards tab to familiarize yourself with the environmental risks in your community from floods to seismic activity and wildfires. Finally, review the Population Information tab to understand community demographic statistics in the county. This order of tool usage will provide you with the knowledge of how to best respond to disaster relating to your unique patient population. To exemplify this, we will analyze New York County and New York, starting with the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab. Navigate to the search icon at the top left of the map and search for New York County. This tab identifies the prevalence of 21 county-level chronic condition ratios against their national averages. A condition will only appear if its prevalence ratio is greater than or equal to 1.00 for the selected county. For example, a ratio of 5.00 for HIV AIDS signifies that New York County has 500% of the national prevalence for this condition. Emergency managers should be aware that this is a more common condition in New York County than any other areas of the country. Secondly, review the Natural Hazards tab using the same search steps from the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab. Use the drop-down box in the top left to switch between each natural hazard. After selecting the desired drop-down menu item, the preferred county will enlarge. Note that switching to a different natural hazard will unselect the previously selected county. When hovering over a specific county, a pop-up box will populate with more detailed information. This indicates, for instance, how 44.52% of New York County is at risk for storm surges. Additionally, this county is at a very low risk of wildfire because 92% of the county is comprised of non-burnable land. Finally, the Population Information tab shows that 25.59% of the county identifies as Hispanic, compared to 19.28% statewide. Disaster communications and supporting resources should be accessible in multiple languages and recognize cultural diversity in order to ensure equity in response and recovery. Additionally, it might be beneficial to understand the HPSA score. The Health Professional Shortage Area score identifies areas that are experiencing a shortage of health professionals by calculating the number of health professionals relative to the population. The score has a possible value from a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 25, with a higher score indicating a higher need for additional healthcare professionals. A score of 0 will be displayed if there are no hospitals within a specific county or the data for that specific county was unavailable. A HPSA score of 8.001 in Newark County indicates that there is currently insufficient infrastructure in place in terms of healthcare professional to treat conditions that may be strained during a hazard. Using the CDRT, it is evident that emergency managers will need to plan accordingly to address the vulnerabilities that exist within this unique community that is culturally diverse, highly populated, under high threats of storm surges, and experiencing insufficient healthcare infrastructure. Part 3 The CDRT provides relevant information to assist in research and academic pursuits. We will analyze East Baton Rouge Parish County to exemplify this starting with the Chronic Condition Prevalence tab. 
navigate to the search icon at the top left of the map and search for East Baton Rouge County. This tab identifies the prevalence of 21 county-level chronic condition ratios against their national averages. A condition will only appear if its prevalence ratio is greater than or equal to 1.00 for the selected county. For example, a ratio of 1.88 for hepatitis signifies that this county experiences 188% of the national prevalence for this condition. The Healthcare Infrastructure tab can be used to acknowledge current gaps in care availability. This demonstrates that there are 17.6 pharmacies and 1.3 hospitals per 100,000 people in this county. The Health Professional Shortage Area score identifies areas that are experiencing a shortage of health professionals by calculating the number of health professionals relative to the population. The score has a possible value from a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 25, with a higher score indicating a higher need for additional healthcare professionals. A score of 0 will be displayed if there are no hospitals within a specific county, or the data for that specific county was unavailable. A HPSA score of 12.06 in East Baton Rouge indicates that this county aligns with state average HPSA scores. Values below 10 usually indicate insufficient healthcare resources that may be strained during a hazard. The Population Information tab indicates that 47.15% of county residents are Black. This is compared to state statistics, where 32.08% of Louisiana residents are Black, as denoted in the table on the right. It also describes how the county has experienced 15 disaster declarations in the past five years. Pulling all these variables together, we can adjust our emergency preparedness understanding and planning to ensure that we equitably address variances in demographics, cultural background, and need amongst our communities. Navigate to the Natural Hazards tab and search for the desired county using the same technique for the other tabs. Use the drop-down box in the top left to switch between each natural hazard. After selecting the desired drop-down menu item, the preferred county will enlarge. Note that switching to a different natural hazard will unselect the previously selected county. When hovering over a specific county, a pop-up box will populate with more detailed information. For example, 44.21% of East Baton Rouge County is under a risk of a high flood potential. The CDRT can also easily compare this information to neighboring counties for a more holistic understanding of the vulnerabilities. For example, 81.29% of West Baton Rouge Parish County is under storm surge potential, compared to just 15.37% in East Baton Rouge Parish County. This resource incorporates a variety of other data analysis capabilities that can guide research in addition to general disaster operation understandings. The CDRT can serve as a tool to educate your academic, research, and greater community about the challenges facing unique populations and support data-based initiatives across academic disciplines.